YouTube's giving you a new way to upload your YouTube videos. Let's see what it looks like and learn how to upload using the new YouTube studio. Here we go! Welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or put your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. You've done it over and over and over again. In my case, possibly thousands of times you've uploaded a video to YouTube. In the new YouTube Studio Beta, there is a new upload feature that looks entirely different. So I've borrowed one of my client's accounts to show you exactly what it looks like. Let's go to the computer. So here we are, the normal dashboard. You click the upload button, in the top right hand corner, and you'll now see upload video beta. That is it, if it's available for you and you click the upload button like you normally would. You're then able to go and hunt for a video file. I'm going to use this one, which is a client, and then it uploads. Nice little funky graphic, and it loads into the now kind of test area. You'll be able to see the normal areas. You can see where the title is, the description, where you'd add your thumbnails. On the right side, you'll see there's a little preview of the video loading, at the top, it tells you that it's a draft. You can add your thumbnail at the bottom. You can then click to the advanced settings where you can choose the playlists that it's going to go into. You can choose your end screen, which you can only do once the video has uploaded. Same with the cards. You have the options to add your language and subtitles straight from this menu. This is a good thing. So many times people forget the language or they put in the auto default. Once again, you've got a load of options here. Obviously, my default's going to be English UK or English American. You'll see here, you've got your new option to add your tags. Those are my auto default ones for this client's account. And on the right-hand side, you can choose certification. This is basically to tell people that this has never been on TV. If it's unique stuff, then that's not a problem. You can also upload subtitles and CCs using closed captions, but if you scroll down, you can pick your category, your video location, your recording date, your license and rights ownership. That way you can make it publicly accessible if required. You can choose additional settings such as age restriction, allowing embedding, subscriptions, or if it clearly contains paid promotion. And on the right hand side, you can control what kind of comments, whether you want them on, whether you want them off, whether you want them sorted, and then you click next. Here is your preview settings, and you'll be able to pick what type of video you're choosing it to be, whether it's public, whether it's private, scheduled, whether it's unlisted. On the right-hand side, you'll see the video is still loading, and in public, you can set it now to Premiere, just like under private, you can set it to Schedule. On unlisted, it is viewable only by yourself and anyone that sees the list. Private is private until you make it public or you can schedule it. And when you're ready, you click done. If you need help with any new YouTube studio feature, there's a playlist up here. Go out there, start creating.